Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to create page labels. We can find the Create Page Labels function by going to our thumbnail side panel. So we can just click on the four squares right here, and here are six of our pages. We can see the Create Page Labels is here, and so let's use it now. When we click on it, we now have two options. We can use existing bookmarks for our page labels, or we can find a region of our page and use vector data in order to create our page labels automatically. Now this will work if your title blocks are the same and if the region that you're accessing has similar information on all of your pages. Now I only have three pages that are essentially construction documents in this PDF set, so we're going to do page region and do it for those three pages. So here in page range, I'm just going to click once inside the box and type 1-3 for the first three pages. Now I'm going to click on select and I'm going to use this little title right down here. Now what I could do is, is I could include the actual name of the page, not just the numbers and letters down here. So I could just get this part, but let's see what happens if I get all of this like this. So we're going to then select this. And then it's going to say in this auto mark dialog box that pops up, region one. This means that I can add another region and get more information for my page labels. Now, don't worry, we don't have to do this for every single page. We're essentially done right now because this region is being found on all three of our pages in the same exact X and Y location. So we can just click OK. If I did click on add, I would use another region and that info would be added to our page labels. We don't need to do that. But let's look at our preview before we click OK. It looks like it's extremely clean and everything looks exactly the way we want it. Now, if we didn't want this text information, we could just get the A2.2 area, but let's leave it like this and see what happens. So let's click OK. And now it, it seems like it is all done. It shows that we have edit here instead of the other button. So now we know that that has already been chosen. Our page region is being used. So now we click OK and there they are. Our new page labels are there. Now, it just so happens that these pages are all similar to each other. They're all older and newer versions of each other. So that's why they all say level 02 floor plan. But before I made this tutorial, I decided to rename the page numbers down here. So we have point 0.1, point 0.2, and point 0.3. And so if we mouse over our thumbnails in the thumbnails list, then we can see our full page. So if there isn't enough room here, you can always make your side panel a little bit bigger so you can read it, but it looks like it'll always cut off a certain amount of text. So I recommend that you keep your page labels a bit small. You don't really need to include all of the text in them, but if you want to, you can do that as well. That's not a problem. All right, so that's how we can use the create page labels function. Now let's move on to some other sub functions of labels. While we're in the thumbnail side panel, let's look at this button here for labels. We can actually turn our page label on or off, so we don't need to show them in our thumbnails list. And we can also show our page scale. So it's very easy to toggle between that. And I'm just going to turn page scale back off because I don't really need to see that in my thumbnails list. Plus, it saves me a little bit of room in terms of seeing all my pages on one screen. Then we have the thumbnails drop down, which I've talked about in previous videos. So we're not going to really go too in depth with that. So Let's go to our bookmarks area and let me just show you guys what happened initially. My pages were initially not numbered from one to six. They actually had their own names. So this one is the floor plan that uh, has, is the older version of a floor plan. I believe that this one is the one with markups. They all have similar names, except this one with rev one at the end is the newer version. And so these were my page labels. So how did I change them? to be numbered one through six. Well, I certainly didn't right click on any of the pages and click on rename. That would be a little bit silly. So I don't need to rename my page label. Instead, reset all page labels is really, really nice. And you can also find that by going to the thumbnails dropdown. So if we click on reset all page labels, it's going to give us a little warning just to make sure because if we have more than 10 or 20 pages, this could be a lot of uh, work and a lot of information that's going to be changed and we could lose a lot of information. So I'm just going to say yes to it. And now I've got my pages labeled automatically. So if you want to automatically place numbers on all of your pages, just go to the thumbnails drop down and click on reset all page labels. It's a really, really useful function. And I prefer to use numbers instead of names for all of my pages. So it's a really nice way to rename them very, very quickly. 
So with that, I believe that that is all the content that we have for creating page labels. It seems a little odd to use at first, but the function is really, really nice. So that's basically how we can mess around with our page labels. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on creating page labels with Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day.